Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading, September 16th to 22nd, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards, and we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which represents your topic Taurus, the very theme of uh, your week is going to be the Queen of Cups, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that uh, you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Judgment card, then it is the um, positive aspect of the week, things are going to help you, things you, that you can go for here. That is going to be the Seven of Swords. And the last one is going to be the guidance that uh, Taro is offering. That is going to be the Ten of Swords. And um, it looks like that, um, uh, it's, it, it looks like as an, an acknowledgement that in order for you to make certain progress, you have to give up on a some sort of a, a cozy relations. Relations in the sense of that, um, well, I will say it that way, there is a someone who is holding your hand in regards to a, an endeavor into your uh, into your environment. And in order for you to prosper, you know, you will have to let this one go because you need to, you know, um, develop yourself based on your own personal image. But before we go into that, guys, and scrutinize the reading more, more in depth, let's uh, run the cards one more time. So the first one, once again, the very topic that is going to be the Queen of Cups, followed by the next one, which is the challenge that you need to overcome here, that is to be the Judgment. Afterwards, it is the Seven of Swords that stands for the positive aspect of, uh, of the week. And then the last one that we do have is going to be the Ten of Swords. That will be the guidance that uh, Taro is offering. So... <clears throat> The first card, uh, which is the Queen of Cups, is going to be um, accompanied with the Two of Swords. Now, that is a, a passive neutrals that we do have here. So, with these two cards, it does look like that this person here, Queen of, um, Queen of, Cups, that, uh, Queen of Cups, does have let's say her own her own vision her own interpretation in regards to what you are facing no different than, for example having a, a mother who does want something for you and he does want to hear anything of your of your designs or anything of your personal wishes all right it's just that that is a person doesn't have to be your mother but that is a, a person who does have uh, its own interpretation of your future and they want to see you into that interpretation no matter what so uh, to me it does look like as a uh, you being either stifled or guided you know into uh, into a um, direction or into an, an end goal which it's it's a, a place where you either don't belong 
or it is a place that you will have to go there on your own. Now, important thing to acknowledge here, it is that uh, with these two cards, right, uh, the Queen of Cups or that person itself pretty much uh, can see a lot of perspectives, but the thing is that they don't want to comprehend on those perspectives, uh, on those perspectives. So they, I don't know how to say it in English, but let's say that they do want have the things to happen according to their expectations. You know, they don't want to hear anything about a different unfoldment of either your career or of either your marriage or relationship or your potential for relationship that is. So simply put here, that is a person who does not want to consider all points of view. They know that there are more than one point than, than their point, but they don't want to consider it. So if there is a, a mismatching here in between points of view, in between fulcrums, you know, and goals, it is time to let go of this one. No different than, you know, you and your business partner have a different idea for the business moving forward. And neither of you will be able to convince the other one. So it's time to split the business in half and everybody you know, goes in their own uh, in their own direction. Now, when I said that this person is holding your hand, I didn't meant it into into a way like you are carried on, but it, I meant it as a way that they always want to support you, but they supporting you only into those kind of activities that falls into their understanding. Just like I said at the start, they do have their own personal understanding. So uh, the next card that the, the represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, we do have the judgment and uh, the accompanied card of the judgment, it is the Wheel of Fortune. So we are definitely talking here about the call, uh, call of the universe, if you want to say it that way. And this is where the difference lies in between or what is the concept that is going to create a difference in between you and this person, Queen of Cups. A new opportunity that it is an uh, opportunity for yourself, but not for the Queen of Cups. Okay, it's like you see an opportunity to start a, a new endeavor, and they think that this endeavor will yield no results whatsoever. But you do see that the the uh, endeavor is gonna yield results. So this is where the uh, the prerequisites of conflict starts, and there is no point of going for a, a conflict, but rather move toward this uh, this opportunity of, toward this endeavor on your own even without the support of the queen of cups even if you do have to part ways with the queen of cups now that is the challenge itself uh these two cards are displaying um a either a, a once in a lifetime change that it is about to happen to you or like i said in an opportunity that only comes in life only once in regards to this field of one's life these two cards um, are very, how do I say it? They are very explosive in a sense of that they come around fast, almost shockingly surprising, okay? The circumstances that these cards does represent and they fly by as fast as they, uh, uh, as they came around. So you have to be very swift when it comes to taking new options available or rather like when, when you start considering and taking advantage of a new options available and also you need to have that open mind because when the judgment come around the the new path which is revealed in front of you usually it's presented as a as something you haven't considered up until this moment so like i said it's going to be quite surprising and uh many people at that point are getting stuck in a sense of that they are afraid to do the wrong move because they haven't considered it up until this moment. But when you think about it, what, uh, uh, let me, give me a second here. Um, when you think about it, what you have not done up until this, uh, up until this day that's presented a, a change into your situation. I would say everything and nothing changed. Therefore, it is time to try something completely, completely different. And like I said, the challenge is going to be you having the courage to do that thing, all right? To take advantage of these new or to utilize these new circumstances that are coming in your way, those surprising circumstances, which will allow you to part ways with, um, with this person, Queen of Cups. 
So the next one is going to be about the positive aspect and that will be the Seven of Swords here uh, accompanied with the Nine of Swords. So we do have an, an active friends. The previous combo was also a active friends. So with active friends here, first of all, you are going to uh, be pretty aware of what are going to be the consequences of either of your decision. But with the Seven of Swords, also your self-awareness and self-righteousness is going to be significantly increased throughout the week uh, to a point where you are to uh, recognize that if you don't achieve something for yourself, then you haven't achieved anything at all. It's, it's a simple concept here. So with these two cards, it does look like that you are going to show a rather quite of a strong backbone, let's say, a strong spine, stand for your own personal rights, storm your situations as well. That is very important because when you part ways with someone, obviously there, there are shares that needs to be split. And at that point, uh, you are to start demanding for your share. And that is a good thing. For example, demanding for your money, demanding for compensations and these kind of stuff. And also taking uh, the necessary measures here not to be carried away uh, twice or further down the road into the future once again with a another person that probably could come around and... Um, tackle or cooperate with you. Uh, in this reading, Taurus, it does look like that you are going to start relying more on your own um, capabilities and on your own, um, yeah, oh, I would say it that way, capabilities to create your own happiness, <clears throat> capabilities to uh, create your own lucrivity, let's say, into uh, into a, a career endeavors. With the Nine of Swords, uh, this is where you need to face your own fear. And if you are a person like me, I completely understand that because I don't jump into actions or rather like endeavors on my own. I always want to have someone in there just for the courage sake, if you want to say it that way. But this time around, it does look like that you need to face your own fears here throughout uh, throughout this week and do things that normally you are afraid of doing, like creating your own business, you know, or approaching that person you never would have approached if you didn't have a friend to cheer you up or to lay down the soil, if you want to, if you know what I mean. The next one is going to be uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, and that will be the Ten of Swords. So with the Ten of Swords as a guidance, you have to be very unyielding when it comes to... Let me draw the other card. Now that is going to be the Fool card. So another uh, active uh, supporter here. Um, and uh, you have to be very swift with your decision making. And it's not even like decision making, but displaying the uh, your conclusions in regards to the cooperation with the Queen of Cups. It's uh, it's no different than when you say we are done, that means that we are done. Uh, being laconic, if you know what it is, laconic is give the information without much of a um, explanation to it. And that way you don't give the man or the woman a, a chance to appeal, okay, or to object it. Like we are done, period, or you know, we're not going to go anymore together, period. You don't say why, you don't say uh, what you're going to do afterwards, you know, you don't try to explain yourself, you just say what you have in your mind of how you, how the thing is to proceed from now on and just move along with it. The Ten of Swords and the Fool card here does represent the yearning and the call for a new era into one's life and... Um, widening and, and sprawling into one's horizon in regards to new goals, meaning uh, that my original statement that the Queen of Cups is stifling you, that means that this woman most likely it is stifling you. It is narrowing your options only to a, a one, while you can have, let's say, 10 options and you can pick point one or two maybe of those options and those options are not exactly options that the queen consider for both of you but they are definitely legit for yourself and for that reason you know from now on you have to move along on your own um, 
now important thing to say with the last two cards is that once you uh once you detach from that influence now don't get me wrong you don't have to pretty much burn all the bridges but only that influence which is narrowing your um your goals and which is narrowing your strave forward uh, and uh, once you sever that influence it looks like that you will um you will see much wider world and at that point you can start dreaming big and also that will be a like i said a new beginning or a new era into this field or into your entire life if you want to say it that way okay so uh, a couple of examples at the end here that could be um the business um the business project which your partner comes around with and they don't want to hear anything about a different ideas either in regards to that business or a business project or either in regards to a new business project okay so it's like they want to attract this client with that idea that they do have and you do have slightly different idea that you find more appealing and that you are finding more productive but they don't want to hear anything about it they think that it is stupid they think that it's not going to yield results they think that it's going to lose the client so it's time you know to engrave your own signature into the business and maybe split the business apart or that could be as well in regards to your marriage let's say okay that your husband or your wife that is they want to buy a specific house you don't like the house you want the other smaller or larger house they want to, they don't want to hear anything about it for numerous reasons either because they have the money to afford the large the, the a large house if you do want if you do like the smaller one or they don't want to spend extra money to buy a larger one if you have um you know like a larger one and so that being said they are stifling your decision they're they're just stifling your options available so that being said guys this was your a uh, weekly tarot reading for september uh, 16 to 22nd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to see each other around until then bye